John and Eric here. While Eric is zeroing the machine, um, I will explain what we're doing right now. We are... Um, I've only done a few small tests on this machine, cut-wise, and now I've designed a part, a useless part, but a pretty complicated, you know, um, heavy-to-machine part out of steel that uh, we're going to cut right now, and I'm really looking forward to the performance of this machine because I would never even remotely consider doing this on the old machine. Um, basically, it's a quarter-inch end mill, three-quarters of an inch deep, um, which is, you know, three times the, di the, the diameter of the cutter deep, and um, cutting out a lot of material. So, there's almost done, let's get right to it. So I have attached the uh, splash guard walls, and this is a plexiglass um, shield, goes in the front. Because if I do this right, it should produce an absolute torrential shower of chips. Um, kind of nervous. <laughs> Alright, as I said, kind of nervous because this is a very aggressive code. Um, one of two things will happen. Three things, I guess. Either it'll work great, awesome. Uh, it'll snap the end mill, no big deal. Or the workpiece will fly out of the chuck, which is probably the worst. I don't think it'll fly far, but... Um, it might just slip out. But it's held in there by a decent amount, maybe 200 thou or something. But, uh, alright Eric, hit go. Me? Yeah, do it. are actually quite a bit thinner than I thought they would be. But they're still flying.
Too hot to hold? A little bit. Well, towel here if you want. One second tool change. Booyah. Um, so the machining is done now. Let's sort of see what it is. It's just a series of hexagons so that I can get a lot of material going. Uh, this is just a um, chamfer mill. I'm going to go in and chamfer all the corners. Hopefully I did this right. Sometimes I mess these up. So this quarter inch end mill took uh, quite a bit of abuse. And you can see along these long flutes. Um, let's see if I can get it to show. There's, uh, I haven't looked at it super close with a microscope, but it looks like some fine chipping. Then again, this is a used end mill that I got from a machine shop, so I didn't look at it that closely beforehand. But I don't think it had these problems. But it still works, I don't know. Um, so this is a quarter inch end mill. Got, um... about 0.913 of stick out and the flutes themselves are just over three quarter and the whole cut was three quarter deep good to go uh, mm, okay. hit it bro Namath just moves so fast <laughs> That actually sounds and looks like crap. I think the tool is pretty dull. And it's going deeper than I wanted it to. Yeah, and that went deeper than I wanted. I didn't want a sharp ridge on top. I just wanted a, uh, uh, you know, to chamfer the edges. But I, I'm still learning how, what settings to put on the um, chamfer. You know, how deep to go, how much step over and all that stuff. Well, that kind of ruins the whole part right there. Um, I guess what we could do is face it off just a little bit. Well, today's little experiment was a resounding success. Um, we have a huge pile of metal shavings here. This stuff I would not want to touch without gloves on. They're like tiny little needles. But a huge pile here. Um, some of them are blue, notice some of them are darker, most of them are silver. I think the blue ones came from when I was doing the inside of the holes, and the, dark, the silver ones were from the outside. So on the outside it could have gone faster, because you want blue chips. But um, I feel like I should vacuum all this stuff up or else they're just going to rust. Although the, I, I didn't use coolant, so there's no water to rust. But Notice as well, I didn't use coolant. This was dry. Looks pretty good, hey? Bit of uh, chatter on the floor. Um, just due to it being such a long end mill. That's my theory. But the wall finish is really nice. Um, you could hear chattering sometimes. Like going into little corners and stuff. And I did, I did roll those corners a little bit bigger diameter uh, than the end mill, but... But I mean, that wall finish is awesome. You can actually see about halfway down there's a horizontal line going this way. There's probably a chip in the in the end mill and you can see it. But a little bit of chatter in the corners there. No big deal. But yeah, this thing's much lighter than it was. Very happy. So that was the first big thing we made on the Tormac. And uh, it was a lot of fun. It's 
cool watching it work, you know, and actually do what we wanted it to do and not break, you know, and uh, produce pretty much exactly what I thought it would. Um, the corner, corner, um, no, what's it called? Chamfer mill. That kind of sucked. But everything else worked great. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and we'll have more cool stuff coming out. All kinds of projects lined up. Thought it would weigh a before and after difference. Here's the same piece of aluminum, or sorry, same piece of steel um, as it started out, and it's one pound, 0 0.8 ounces. And the new piece is 5.4 ounces. Um, doing math for ounces in my head is kind of hard, but that's, that's a lot of weight off.